Welcome to this Internet Geography Revision short covering Soft Engineering Coastal Management. Soft Engineering Coastal Management does not involve building artificial structures, but takes a more sustainable and natural approach to managing the coast. Compared to hard engineering, soft engineering approaches are less expensive, are more long-term, attractive and sustainable as they work with natural processes. Beach nourishment is the addition of sands or pebbles to a beach to increase its height and width to provide protection from erosion or flooding by absorbing wave energy. Bulldozers can reprofile the beach to create high ridges. The approach is cheap and retains the natural appearance of the beach. Beaches are a natural defence against erosion. Additionally, the beach is a useful amenity for tourism bringing economic benefits to the area. Despite the benefits of beach nourishment and reprofiling, there are also a number of disadvantages. Sometimes offshore dredging of sand and shingle is used to provide beach material. This can be hugely damaging to marine ecosystems. Large storms will require further beach replenishment, increasing costs. Constant maintenance and reprofiling is required. People may be prevented from using the beach for several weeks during the year during maintenance. Dune regeneration involves taking action to build up dunes and increase vegetation. This helps to strengthen the dunes and prevent coastal retreat. New sand dunes can be created to protect from coastal flooding. Often, marum grass is planted to hold the dunes together. Wooden boardwalks can be built to encourage people not to walk on the dunes. One advantage of dune regeneration is that it is very cheap compared to other approaches to coastal management. It's considered a natural barrier by many people, producing an attractive amenity for tourists. Dune regeneration can increase biodiversity by providing a greater range of natural habitats for plants, animals and birds. Although there are a range of benefits associated with dune regeneration, there are also disadvantages. It can be time-consuming to plant vegetation such as marum grass. Dunes can be easily damaged by storms. Careful management is required, keeping people off the newly planted vegetation and people need to be educated about dune management schemes, often through signage. Coastal realignment or managed retreat is a form of soft engineering that involves creating a new position for the coastline through engineering. In the case of managing coastal flooding, this means moving the boundary inland. When deciding whether to introduce managed retreats to an area, a cost-benefit analysis is conducted. If the benefits outweigh the costs, then it is more likely to go ahead, with landowners being compensated. Often low-earth embankments are constructed inland to protect higher-valued land, property or roads. Old sea defences are deliberately breached to allow seawater to encroach the land. Over time, the flooded land forms salt marsh, creating a new wetland environment. There are a range of benefits associated with managed retreat. It's a long-term sustainable solution with very low maintenance costs. The creation of salt marsh, a natural buffer to the sea, increases protection of inland areas. Additionally, the salt marsh ecosystem can support a wide range of plants and animal species. Tourism can increase as more walkers and bird watchers visit the area. As with any approach to coastal management, there are also disadvantages associated with managed retreat. Managed retreats can be expensive, especially where landowners must be compensated for their loss of land and property. Agricultural land can be lost, reducing productivity on the affected farms. Local people may lose land, have to be relocated or lose access to footpaths. Finally, some ecosystems may be destroyed due to flooding and formation of salt marsh. You can find out more about soft engineering coastal management on internetgeography.net. Please check out the comments to links for more information and quizzes on internet geography. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates.